Okay, so we want to be able to access the functionality that's available by agents.py, and we want to be able to use it. So we're going to create our own file and run a small bit of the code from there, namely our random vacuum agent and our trivial vacuum environment. So create a new file. So file, new file, or control N. And typically what I do is I save the file immediately. So save. And we're going to save this within the actual AIMA Python directory. And we'll just call it KR record test py and save that. Now to import the agent's functionality, it's a simple a case of import agents as ag product. Okay. And that looks fine. Now, so what can we do with that? Again, if we go back to our actual agents.py file and see the description of the environment and the agent. So in this case, line 1A2. Okay, our random vacuum agent, which randomly chooses one of the actions from the vacuum environment. And this basically is kind of a user guide as to how to use it with slight variations. So I'm just going to copy that text over as a small guide. So, first line there, what are they doing? They are actually initializing the agent. So we could say agent equals. And what they have there is random vacuum agent. But that won't work for us because we won't recognize the vacuum agent. But you'll get the name error down here. Name random vacuum agent is not defined. What we have to do is append the agent plot. You can see that the autocomplete divided by spider is pulling all the things that are available to us from our agents.py file. Okay, so this is initializing the agent. Next thing we'll do is initialize environment. So same thing, you can say environment equals I can use autocomplete to put me down for the field vacuum environment. Very good. Now, what they do then is they add the agent to the environment, which is simply a case of environment. I'll add thing and we pass in the agent to it. Okay. What if we want to see the actual state of the world at any given time? We can simply just print out the environment status. So we should see that. the status is after initializing it. And we run that. Oh, sorry. Now, I spell vacuum with a V-A-C-U-M-N. But I think they spell it V A C U U N or something. I'll just use autocomplete to put it up. Yeah. And that's correct now. So we see we have two locations A and B, clean and dirty. And the starting conditions are 
randomized, which is why each time we're running it, you can see the initialization is giving us a different output to the environment. Okay? Now, add some information to <clears throat> let us know what we're doing. So clean, 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 clean. Clean, dirty, clean, dirty. So the agent has had no impact as of yet. Why not? Because we haven't run the agent. So that is simply a case of environment. Uh -huh. What is that complaining about? I don't see anything like that. Random vacuum agent takes zero positional arguments, but one was given. Now, I didn't pass anything into that. So, some error at play. Is this error coming from? Because we haven't had any positional information. Yes, I did. So I forgot to include the actual parentheses up here, causing the error down here. But that runs. And if we try and get an output of the status after running the environment, We will see that we're clean. So here you're dirty, still dirty, now it's clean. And that's basically invoking the code from agents.py. A combination of this guy and a combination of this guy. Similarly, there's a lot of inheritance going on. So classes are extension of our classes. So you be keep an eye out for that as well. But we won't, I'm not going to get into the technical details of it. 
But I suppose from here, what you have is a number of classes you can look at. And I would strongly recommend playing around with the very simple ones just to get you set up to know. So for instance, reflex vacuum agent, model-based vacuum agent, read a bit more about the environments they provide, how they work, you know, just to familiarize yourself with the code. And over the next few weeks, we'll do a little more guided learning in this direction until we can actually do interesting things like environments for the Wampus world and so on. Okay. Anyway, I hope that helps. Take care.